Hi, this is Arash and welcome to the Epoxy channel. In this channel, we're gonna talk about the epoxy resins from the theoretical aspects to the most practical ones. So if this is the first video that you're watching or if you're interested in epoxy resins, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Today, I'm going to present Amin Hardeners. A cured epoxy resin should have a tightly crustling molecular structure for optimal physical and chemical properties. During the curing process, an epoxy resin is combined with a com compatible hardener to start the polymerization reaction. Curing characteristics such as pot life and cure speed uh, depend heavily on the choice of the hardener. The processing properties transparency, adhesion, viscosity, reactivity, and the final properties, mechanical, glass transition, temperature and heat resistance of the cure polymer network is also heavily dependent on the employed hardener. The most important hardener group for curing epoxies is amine-based hardeners. A hardener generally has a reactive hydrogen that reacts with the epoxide groups in the resin. Most classes of hardeners require high temperature of around 150 centigrade for complete curing. Insufficient heat during cure results in incomplete polymerization and leads to suboptimal mechanical, chemical and heat resistant properties. Aliphatic, cycloaliphatic and aromatic amines are all employed as epoxy hardeners. Aliphatic amines being the most reactive and aromatic amines being the least reactive and cycloaliphatic amines lies between the two. Aromatic amines offer excellent end properties. However, in recent years, concern about the health effect of aromatic amines uh, has led to increased use of cycloaliphatic and aliphatic amines. In the previous video, the reactions of amines and the oxygen ring has been explained in detail. Here, a short summary is presented to recall the reaction. When we have an oxygen ring and a primary amine, after the reaction oxygen ring is opened and the compound with a hydroxyl group and a secondary amine is produced. If we react the epoxide ring with a secondary amine, still the amine can connect to the structure based on the same mechanism. To elaborate, the hydrogen will be detached and N will be connected to the open oxygen from that site. In this case, a compound with a hydroxyl group and a tertiary amine group will be prepared. It has also been mentioned that secondary and tertiary amines may react with the oxygen group through hydroxyl etherification. In this case, the synthesized compound possesses a hydroxyl group and an ether linkage along with the secondary amine. To conclude this part, a few notes have to be mentioned. First, the choice of amine hardener affects the processing and final properties. So, epoxies with different hardeners uh, cure differently at different temperatures and rates. The hardener system is chosen based on the structure of the epoxy and the processing requirements. It should also be mentioned that some epoxy can be cured with a certain range of hardeners. For example, when the structure of the resin is cycloaliphatic, often the cycloaliphatic amines are the best choice. The mixing is another concern which is another indicating factor. Finally, the viscosity of the epoxy resin is another important fact that has to be considered. The amount of the required hardener is calculated based on the EEW of the epoxy resins and the amine value of the hardener, which has been covered in other videos. It is worth mentioning here that the amount of hardener should be calculated and used properly and too much hardener to an epoxy resin system decelerates the curing process leading to an improperly hardened and non-functioning product and less amount of hardener than the required result in the partially cured system. Both are detrimental for the final properties. The employed almonds in the curing of epoxy resins can be divided into three groups, aliphatic almonds, aromatic almonds, and cycloaliphatic almonds. 
Aliphatic amines uh, contain only H and alkyl substitutes. They are the most commonly used curing agent for epoxies. Aliphatic amines are usually fast curing, low viscosity and result in good chemical resistance in the system. Between different amine hardeners, they are the most reactive ones. However, they are often modified to eliminate their volatility associated problems. To solve this issue, they can be pre-reacted with part of the epoxy resin which form a polyamine adduct. These amines often have a short pot lives, only 30 to 30 minutes to 2 hours. They generate high exothermic reactions, meaning that a huge amount of heat is generated during the curing process. Concerning the health issues, it should be mentioned that these hardeners are corrosive, especially to human tissues. They are eye corrosive. Direct contact with eyes will cause severe burn and may cause permanent damage including blindness. They are often skin corrosive as well. Contact causes skin burning and may cause permanent skin damage or scarring. For each type of amine, the SCS document should be carefully reviewed before handling. The most important aliphatic amines in use for cure of epoxies are TETA, DETA, TEPA, TEPA, and DEAPA. 3 ethylene tetraamine or TETA is a colorless oily liquid, but like many amines, older samples assume a yellowish color due to impurities resulting from air oxidation. Due to the dense tendency to form complexes with atmospheric car carbon dioxide, particularly in uh, humid conditions, TETA is most often formulated, adducted, or otherwise reacted to inhibit amine blush. TETA is soluble in polar solvents like other aliphatic amines, react quicker and at lower temperatures than aromatic amines due to the less negative steric effects since the linear structure of the molecule provides its ability to rotate and twist. The odor is fishy, uh, ammonical, and has a density of 982 gram per liter. Uh, the molecular mass is 146.2 uh, gram per mole. The amine value of commercial TETA is in the range of uh, 1410 to 1460 milligram per gram based on the purity. The structure of this hardener has been shown here. Epicure 3223 from Hexion is an example of unmodified TETA in the market. Diethylene tetramine or DETA is another member of this family. This is a colorless hygroscopic liquid with an ammonical odor which is soluble in water and polar organic solvents but not simple hydrocarbons. Diethylene tetramine is a common curing agent for epoxy resins in epoxy adhesives and other thermosets. Its density is uh, 955 gram per liter and its molar mass is around 103.2 gram per mole. Its amine value is 1626 milligram per gram and Epicure 3234 uh, from Hexion is uh, an example of unmodified data at the market. The third member of this family is tetraethylene pentamine or TPA. It is a slightly viscous liquid and it is not colorless but like many amines has a yellow color. It is soluble in most polar solvents. The reactivity and uses of TIPA are similar to those for the related ethylene amines, ethylene diamines and diethylene tetramine and triethylene tetramine. It is uh, primarily used as a curing agent or hardener in epoxy chemistry. Its molar mass is around 189 gram per mole and its density is approximately 998 kilogram per cubic meter. Its density, uh, uh, its viscosity is about 80 uh, millipascal second at 20 centigrade and its flash point is around 193 uh, centigrade. The substance is a strong base. Its amine value is 1,343 milligram KOH per gram and it reacts violently with acids and it is corrosive. Most Finland suppliers uh, has this hardener in their portfolio under the name TIPA. Finally, we have 
diethylaminopropylamine, abbreviated as DEAPA. This is a water-white liquid with a fish-like odor. With a molecular weight of around 113, uh, its flash point is 53 centigrade, and it is a flammable or combustible material. It may be ignited by heat, sparks, or flames. Uh, it is also uh, very irritating to skin and eyes, used to make other chemicals and as a component of adhesives. It's compared to other members, it has a higher pot life and requires additional heat to complete curing process. And it results in softer and uh, lower heat deflection temperature products. The structure of DEAPA has been presented here. Summary of uh, all aliphatic curing agents in use, their properties and applications have been presented here. The next group is the aromatic almonds, which are used as a curing agent for epoxy system. The advantages of aromatic almonds over aliphatic almonds for curing epoxy resins are the development of higher heat distortion temperatures in the cured product. It has greater chemical resistance after cure, uh, and the mixture had to be cured at some heat to achieve excellent elevated temperature performance. Aromatic almonds cured epoxy systems can give films with excellent gloss blush-free and excellent chemical resistance. But aromatic amine confers poor color stability to fill. Aromatic amine cure system find usage mainly in tank cleaning, primers, maintenance containing incursive, uh, incursive environments. They generally possess a long pot life. There are several aromatic amines are used for epoxy curing and the most important ones are introduced here. m diamine also called 1,3-diaminobenzene, abbreviated as MPDA, is an aromatic diamine and it is colorless solid, but turns red or purple on exposure to air due to formation of oxidation products. Samples often come as colorless flakes and may darken in storage. Its molecular mass is 108 gram per mole and its melting point is around 65 centigrade. This substance is toxic if swallowed, uh, it is toxic in contact with skin or if inhaled. It is very toxic to aquatic life and cause serious eye irritation. The structure of MPDA has been presented here. We also have uh, diaminodiphenyl methane, DDM or sometimes DAPM or MDA. It occurs as a colorless to pale yellow solid and has a, a faint other. 4 4 prime uh, methylene uh, aniline is used mainly for making polyurethane forms. It has a molecular weight of around 198 gram per mole. This substance may cause cancer, causes damage to organs, it is toxic to aquatic life with long-lasting effects and it is su uh, suspected of causing genetic defects and may cause an allergic skin reaction. The last one we introduce here is uh, diamino diphenyl sulfone, also called Dapson or DDS, which is a diamine-based hardener that is used to cure epoxy-based resins. DDS is a white to a white odorless non-volatile powder suitable to disperse uniformly in epoxy resins. This is used as curing agent with epoxy resin, especially to obtain slow uh, reactivity and extended pot life to mix. A uh, unique combination of uh, chemical, electrical and thermal properties are major advantages of this hardener when processed and cured appropriately with epoxy resins. Its melting point is around 180 centigrade. This substance is harmful if as well. Lapox ASH 10 MIC of Atoll is one of the commercial examples of this type of hardener. To summarize our discussion on aromatic amine curing agents, we have repeated 
that these types of amine result in the best mechanical properties of the cured samples among all amine hardeners. They require heat for curing. They enhance the temperature resistance and the chemical resistance of the cured epoxy. Their pot life is often much higher than that of allophatic amines and can be reached to 18 hours, but they are suspected to be carcinogenic and raise more health concern compared to other uh, hardeners. A summary of these aromatic amines has been presented here for your reference. Finally, we have cycloaliphatic amine hardeners in which we have a ring, but the ring is not aromatic. Generally, these amines render properties between aliphatic amines and aromatic amines, and their properties lie between the two. Cycloaliphatic amines have long been standard curing agents for civil engineering, coating, and composite applications, uh, with new uses being found all the time. These low viscosity, highly reactive hardeners help produce resins with high chemical resistance, high temperature resistance, and superior mechanical performance on ambient cure. In coating and civil engineering applications, cycloaliphatic amines can help produce formulation for tack-free and high-gloss surfaces with low yellowing and capable of curing at temperature as low as 10 centigrade. The amines in this class can be used as, uh, as unmodified or as an adduct. In this class, we have uh, the methane diamine, MDA, isoforendiamine, IPDA, lamiron, C216, 1.3, BAC, and uh, vanadamine, HM. Let's repeat that these amines are used for intermediate properties between those of aromatic and aliphatic amine curing agents. A summary of cycloaliphatic amine hardeners has been presented in this table for your reference. Thanks for your attention. I hope you enjoy. Please share your thoughts, comments, or questions, and I will come back to you soon.